Hey YouTubers, this is Lonnie Clark, Nuts for Art. I wanted to do a really quick video on walking up and down River Road in the rain because I wanted to get out. It's only 5.30 but it's dark and rain here. Listen, I am just dumbfounded over the fact that we have cancer clusters in St. Louis for children dying of weird odd cancers. We have people living right next to a nuclear dump site and the world says nothing. Uh, and Ferguson, Missouri is right across, like seriously, the next little town over from where Bridgeton is and where the Westlake landfill is. And when that cop killed that young man, the world was in an uproar. During that period of time, there was the St. Louis Just Moms group. Just Moms St. Louis, where's the Just Dads without me cussing? Where are they? Why is it just the moms? Why isn't it the dads getting actively engaged? Why is it that we have people talking about the racial tension in Ferguson and no one's talking about the cancer clusters? It's not okay. People are pissed off that cops are killing some black young man unarmed. What about the nuclear industry killing black young girls? What about babies? What about nine-year-old children, 12-year-old child? A nine-year-old, I've read about a 12-year-old and a nine-year-old and a nine-year-old and an eight-year-old dying. And that got me involved. That made me stop and say the Age of Fission radio show is going to be dedicated to this until the people of St. Louis are remediated properly. Until those families that live right next door to them, their houses aren't just being sold but bought by the government. Those people are being moved out immediately. And then we're going to fucking worry about their pricing of their houses, which they should pay more than market price for. It's outrageous. I mean, really, the government should well compensate these families. You cannot make up for death. You cannot make up for genetic mutation. The lifelong complication that cancer causes. The surviving cancer, much less dying from it. So... You know, put your courage feet on. I am just blown away here, folks. There's a gun shop. The ever-famous gun shop. Wow. So what are we going to do? Just let the children of St. Louis continue to die? Talk about the racial tension in Ferguson, Missouri. Huh. Talk about the homelessness. Forget about the cancer clusters. Forget about the death that the nuclear industry is doing to the people of St. Louis. Is that what we're going to do? And I do not think I'm getting across here, folks. They're not going to let me off. He sped up when he saw me coming. For real, dude. <laughs> Thanks. Here. Peek. We're going to make him slow down, Mr. Pizza Delivery Guy. Okay. So anyways. Wow, man. What a journey. And why have we been selected for this time? I have no idea, but we have, folks. And it's on our watch. I do not understand how Americans cannot see that we are St. Louis. This is exactly what they're doing. If you're living in Flint, Michigan, you know what I'm talking about. You don't have any drinking water. Because some politician decided to do it on the cheap. And in less than a year destroyed the drinking water for all of Flint, Michigan. That's a city that has to go away now. And as long as people live there, they're going to be sick. Just like St. Louis. These people are killing our cities, and Americans are sitting by, letting them do it. Their elected officials are ignoring it. Governor Jay Nixon is ignoring the catastrophe in his own state. Why? Why, Governor Jay Nixon, are you ignoring this? This guy's house represents everything that America thinks it is at Christmas time. These are sweet people that live here. They have beautiful dogs. They are really great neighbors. Tell them that our government is allowing people to be killed at the hands of the nuclear industry and the grotesqueness of the greed over profit, the profit over people, 
model that's happened in our country. So, I'm going to stop you guys. Put your courage feet on. Take action, because we need it. Pressure these people in St. Louis to remediate the people. Help the people of Flint stand up to these monsters. Ciao.